everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using this Lawn Fawn Fairy Friends set and the My Mind's Eye On Trend 6x6 pad. This paper has a lot of gold foiling in it and I think it's going to make this card super fun. So to begin I'm going to start by coloring my images and I'm going to start out with the fairy. And as you saw um, in the paper that I showed you, the color palette of this paper pad is kind of like peaches and oranges and kind of mint and teal blue. So um, I'm going to use those colors as my color palette as I color my images today. So I'm going to start out with her skin and I'm using E51 and E53 for the shadows. And then I'm going to just add in a little R02 for her rosy cheeks. I usually use R20, but R02 is a little more peach toned, and so it's going to fit with these pattern papers a lot better. Next up is her hair, and I wanted to make her a redhead. So I'm using YR14, YR16, and E19 for the darkest. I'm sorry I've got those uh, marker caps a little bit out of frame there, but those are the colors that I'm using. And again, as I um, did in my previous fairy video a couple weeks ago or two months ago, something like that, um, you know, I'm just kind of streaking in the color. This is the one place where you don't want to blend too much because it won't um, take on the look of hair if you do. So I'm trying to keep it a little streaky, kind of keep it a little more natural looking. And then I'm going to move on to her dress. And for that, I'm using BG11, BG13, and BG15. And I'm actually going to start darkest to lightest because it's such a small image. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay in the BG15, and then I'll blend that out with the BG13, and then take the BG11 for the bottom portion so it gives it kind of an ombre effect. The darker two colors got a little bit washed out, so I'm just going to add them in sparingly at the top so that it'll just reinforce that transition down her dress. By the way, did you guys see that Lawn Fawn is releasing a mermaid set on the 19th? I'm so excited about it. I think it's their cutest set yet. For her wings, I'm using BG10 close to her body and then just feathering that out with the BG70. But I'm going to leave a little bit of white at the tips just to make that um, really translucent looking. So this card is for the current lawnscaping challenge and our theme this round is sparkle it up. So I grabbed these two jelly roll sparkle stardust pins and um, one is teal and one is silver. And I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle to her dress by adding some dots of this pin. Um, it really adds a lot of sparkle and shine. I'll try to show it there on camera, but um, my camera didn't seem to want to focus. I'll hold it up again at the end of the video, and hopefully you can see it better there. But anyway, I'm going to move on to coloring my flowers. And I've stamped out a bunch of flowers from that set, but I've actually decided that I'm not going to use the little bluebells or the little um, droopy flowers there. I'm just going to use the daisies. And rather than introduce any green, since there's no green in the pattern paper I'm using, I'm going to stick with that same color scheme by using um, these blue greens for the stems. So I've got my BG13 and BG11 out again, and I just put a little BG13 right under the flower where it would be in shadow, and then blended that a bit with the BG11. And I'm going to color them like Gerbera daisies, so I'm going to put some color on them. Um, so I'm using the YR00, YR01, and that uh, R02 again that I use for her cheeks. So I'll just um, blend that out, going darkest towards the center and lightest towards the tips. And um, adding that extra dark color back in again since it's um, a little pale. So I wanted a little more contrast, so I'm just taking that R02 again and um, putting it close to the center. And then for those centers, I'll introduce YR09, and I'll blend that out with the R02. And I'm just going to color all three of those flowers exactly the same. 
For the fairy wand, I'm going to reintroduce those Jelly Roll Stardust pens, and I'll just color the handle of the wand silver and the star part of the wand with the teal. And that'll just add a little more sparkle to my project. So I've die cut my focal panel with the Lawn Fawn Stitch Journaling Card die, and I also cut out the Lawn Fawn Meadow Borders using two pieces of pattern paper from that same set. And then I went and gold heat embossed my sentiment uh, on the bottom of that meadow border so I would have a little more shine on my card. And now I'm just going to start um, placing my flowers where I think they're going to look good to create the little scene. I also took the Lawn Fawn Mermaid ink and stamped that little um, shimmer marks that they included in that stamp set that will be coming down from the fairy's wand. My original intention was to place all three flowers there on the left, um, but when I looked at it, it seemed unbalanced to me, so I decided to spread them out and add this one over here on the right, and that seemed more pleasing to the eye to me. So now I'll just go ahead and glue the little wand into the fairy's hand. And then I'll just add a little more Tombow Mono Multi Glue to her and add her to the top of the little scene there. So now for the card assembly, I've got this pattern paper with that gold foiling on it. I've also got a strip of glitter paper from the Christmas Glitter 6x6 from American Crafts. But, you know, the gold can be used for everyday purposes as well. So I just cut down a little strip of that. And I'm adhering it to the bottom of a piece of Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White Cardstock uh, folded to a standard size landscape style card. I also trimmed off a piece of the pattern paper and flipped it over to the reverse side where you have this nice peach stripe. Um, and I'm going to use that as an accent as well at the bottom there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue down my main pattern paper. And you can see that the peach uh, strip got too far pushed up. So thank thankfully I had used that Tombow Mono Multi and it wasn't set yet. So I could pull that back down so I could get just a little bit of it peeking under like I wanted. To adhere my focal panel, I'm going to grab some um, Scotch 3M foam tape and press it down on the back. You can see, see that I did use a scrap of um, old cheap cardstock to reinforce that pattern paper there uh, behind the stitch journaling card. And then I can just go ahead and press that down into place. Make sure it's nice and straight. As a finishing touch, I'm going to grab my Spectrum Noir Clear Glitter Pen and add a coat of it to the fairy's wings and to the centers of the flowers. This is pretty much like a Wink of Stella, just a different brand. And that completes the card for today. I'm just going to hold it up to the camera so that you're able to see all that sparkle and shine that it has. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you missed my last video, it's there for you on screen. Just go ahead and click the little video clip and it'll take you right to it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.